Hello, it's Gem Games here once again, and in this video we're going to create a new obstacle, which will be like a barrier that we can slide under. So yeah, let's get started. First, we want to go to the link in the description, which takes you to the My Google Drive. And you want to download this road work sign tree that I created. And after you have downloaded it, you want to go to your models and props and you want to import it so let's get it to here and let's just import all okay see you can see it's basically this road work sign too but i adjusted the, the model a little bit so it looks like this okay because if we are using this no matter how we adjust it or stretch it or scale it, uh, it will not look good when we make it higher. So and uh, we cannot slide under that or we, yeah, we can, but it doesn't look good. So yeah, that's why I created this. Okay, so let's go back to the blueprints and to the obstacles and let's duplicate this barrier. Uh, let's call this like, I don't know, slide barrier. You can obviously you uh, call it whatever you want. Let's open it and let's go to the viewport. Here, we want to click to have that uh, static mesh and we want to change it to the new mesh that we imported. So it should be here somewhere. Um, okay, road work sign tree. Uh, what? Oh, I'm so stupid. Okay, sorry for that. Uh, I forgot one thing. So let's go back to the props folder where we have the road work sign tree. Let's actually just delete it. Let's import it again. I noticed that we have the import uniform scale here as 50. We want to leave it to one like that. Let's import all again. So now we have it at the right size. So now let's go back to the blueprints and to the obstacles and to the slide barrier and to the viewport. Let's click the barrier and uh, let's change. Let's search for the road. What was it? Road, road work sign tree. Okay. And as you can see, it's looking like as it is supposed to look. So what we want to do now is we actually want to change its scale just a little bit. So let's make it scale. You want to unlock this, so you want to make it so it's unlocked. The X scale, I want to make it 2. Uh, y scale, 1.75. And set scale, 1.75. Okay, like that. Let's compile and save. Let's go to the surface map. Let's move it to the to our game just so we can see it and you can see it's looking pretty good i will set this y location to zero so it's in the middle yep now we will want we want to go back to the slide barrier and we want to adjust this uh, death collision we want to make it like let's make it a little bit bigger higher like this and yeah, let's move it upwards a little bit. So it's somewhere around there. Let's make it a little bit smaller on this direction. And yeah, a little bit more from here. Okay, I think it looks pretty okay. I will actually adjust it just a little bit like that. So yeah, that's done. One more thing we have to do with this. I think this collision on the mesh is not Correct, so let's go to the third person map and to the models and back to the props and let's go to the roads work sign tree. Let's go to here, show and simple collision. And as we can see, we cannot go through that. So we actually want to scroll down a little bit and here on the collision on the advanced. Uh, not on the other one, sorry. We want to click this 
customized collision like that and then we actually want to go to here to the collision and we want to remove collision so now it doesn't have any collision then we want to add a add box simplified collision then we want to select this box press e key uh, sorry r key so we can scale it Let's scale it a little bit smaller like that and also on this direction now let's click it again let's press the w key so we can move it now let's move it where it Actually, we have we'll have to scale it a little bit more, like that. And I think that is basically it. It's looking pretty good. Now we want to duplicate this collision, so let's just keep the Alt pressed and left uh, with the left click. Let's move it. As you can see, now we have two of these. We have this collision and this collision. Now we want to change this scale to a lot smaller, like that. Now let's move it to here. Okay, uh, when it's there, you want to keep the Alt pressed again. Uh, sorry, click, select it, uh, Alt press and move it. You want to move it to here. So, now you can see we have a correct collision on it. Okay, now we can save and we can actually close this. So, what we want to do here next is we want to go to the event graph. And here, where we are on the on component begin OLAP, where we are casting to the third person character. We want to actually move this dead, we want to cut these links, Alt and left click on the boat. Uh, we want to get a branch, so B and left click, and connect it to here. Uh, what we want to check here is if we are sliding, so sliding, rolling like this. And if it's true, what we want to do then is we want to get the barrier, and we want to set collision enabled. To the no collision like that and if it's false so we are not sliding or rolling then we want to call this dead function like that and it should already work so let's compile save uh, oh we have to connect this dead function to this let's add a reroute so it looks a little bit better like that let's compile save let's actually save all we have five unsaved assets actually we still have three Okay, I don't know why. Let's play. So now, if we run that, you can see we fall. But if we slide, we can go under. So it actually should work. I will try just again. So, yeah, we can go under. And if we jump to it like this, we will fall. Let's try again. Okay, I actually think that this is a little bit too like. You have to make this a little bit smaller on the direction. You know? and let's move it to here. So, I think it's better now. Actually, I don't want it to come through the, this side. So. Let's compile and let's go and play and see how it works now. So, yeah, we can still slide under. If we normally walk to it, we will fall. And if we try to jump over, I don't even know if we can jump over. Actually, we cannot. But yeah, I think it's actually working. So yeah, I think that was all for this video. If you like what you saw, please click the like button and subscribe for more. And yeah, hope you have a great day and see you in the next one. Bye.